Well, Rui Guvea is not comfortable being called a hero, but the corrections officer says he acted on instinct and hopes if his own son was in such a dangerous predicament, someone would do the same for him. Mindel Road in the Kushnet is a typical back road, a little windy, and at night, the twists and turns can creep up on a driver who's not on their toes. And that might have been what happened Tuesday night when this accident occurred. It was about 10 o'clock at night, at night, and I was driving to work. I saw this car go going fast past me, lose control, and hit the tree. It kind of went up in the air and rolled over. As soon as I, he rolled over, I saw the fire coming out of the engine. Rui Guvea was on his way to work. He's a correction officer with the Massachusetts Department of Corrections. In his line of work, he's seen a lot, but this was different. But when it comes to civilians, it's totally different. At that time, with the adrenaline pumping, uh, to be honest, I was not even paying attention to the fire. In this picture, you can see the 2003 Chevy Malibu flipped on its hood. In this one, you see flames in full force. The three passengers were all from Fairhaven and made it out alive. One passenger, Jonathan Gardner, 18, walked away from the scene, while the other, 19-year-old Jade Winterson, was rushed to Rhode Island Hospital, where she's still getting treatment. The driver, 20-year-old Jacob Swift, was transported but released. It's about two days after this crash, but it still smells like smoke, and you can see broken glass from the accident. Today, we are learning that the 20-year-old driver, well, it looks like he could be facing charges soon. Guvea says he could tell the car occupants were young, not much older than his own son, now 14. I was seeing my son. I said, this could have been my son. I was thinking about the families all the time. I was thinking, I'm like, my God, these families could have received uh, news that the kids were dead tonight. And believe it or not, Guvea says after he helped the crash victims, he went straight to work. He says they're constantly in his thoughts and he would like to meet them one day. Reporting live in the studio, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.